here to demonstrate a short video on the goblet squat. Goblet squat is a variation for squats that I think is very good for all levels of fitness. It allows you to work on your hip mobility and strength and all of that strength in your glutes and in your legs transfers to life movement out in the real world outside of your training facility or a training center at home. So what I want to teach you in this goblet squat is the mechanics of that so that you get the most out of the squat. Generally speaking, the main thing I want you to understand in the descent, the going down of the squat, is that your hip flexors are what pull you down into a squat. What I want you to think about is as you start your squat, actively pull yourself down using your hip flexor. Your hip flexor is where your leg bends and straightens. So what I'm gonna do without the kettlebell first is just demonstrate the squat. My squat is a little bit wider, or my stance is a little bit wider than my hips or my shoulders. And I'm going to begin to pull down using my hip flexors. Another cue that I want you to think about is pushing your knees apart. When I push my knees apart as I go down, I begin to activate the glutes as well and load the glutes more properly in your squat. From here, I squeeze my glutes, press through the floor, and come up. So um, again, hip flexors activate to pull me down, pushing the knees apart, coming down to a safe squat for you, and squeeze your glutes to come up. Everyone's squat variation or squat depth may look different depending on your glute strength. You don't want to go down too far and your strength of your glute not be able to pull you up. So you have to go where your glutes are firing the best. Ideally, we want a rock bottom squat, but only when your strength matches your mobility. So, in this case, we're going to use the kettlebell in this goblet squat, and we're holding the bell with our lats. What I mean by that is I want you to find the sweet spot where you're really in control using your lats, not too much chest, and not as a resistance, and not resting on your chest. So I'm here, I'm going to breathe in, bring my elbows just on the inside of the knees, and exhale up forcefully. Hup. Breathe in, exhale forcefully, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see the side view. Because the beautiful thing about the goblet squat is it's working with your center of gravity, which allows you to really elongate the spine in your squat and not only get strong lower body, but get strong from the shoulders down. So I'm going to lift the kettlebell, holding the kettlebell with my lats, firm grip on the handles. Stance is as I need it. Breathe in. And exhale up. Hup. Being aware that my knees aren't going past my toes and staying contracted in my glutes. Exhale up. Hup. Squeezing at the top. Pressing my knees apart. Going down. As you practice that with that kind of form, you're going to get really, really strong. Now, don't be afraid to regress the squat. If you need to use support, do so. You want to hit that body position correctly. Don't cheat it. In other words, don't fake it. Lean way over, hunch over, let the knees go forward. Find a brace. It could be a weight rack. It could be a door frame. It could be a pole. Something that you can hold on to as needed and begin to pull yourself down into a correct form and come up. The more you practice that, the stronger your glutes will become. Regression is for everyone. Even the best squatters will gain more from going to progression.